Hey guys, this is Coach KP and today I'm going to talk to you about some of the side effects of meditation. And this goes also for personal development in general. Um, so what happens, you know, what I hear from people all the time once they start to really, um, you know, make meditation a daily practice for them is that they feel that they are getting more and more disconnected from their ways of life from before. So, um, you know, people often say that they're losing friends, um, you know, they, they can no longer relate to the, their family in the way that they were used to relating to them. Um, you know, um, some people may experience the same thing at work. So a lot of times um, you, you have a very hard time remaining in those circles or um, in the situation that you would remain in previously uh, without even thinking about it. So what happens with, you know, meditation or any kind of personal development work? Um, so my take on that is when you start a spiritual practice, like a, like a meditation practice, your field, um, you know, um, your energy field expands to a point where you can no longer go back into the narrower energy field that you had experienced in your life before. So uh, when you're day in and day out meditating, working on yourself, trying to make your life better, eating healthy, whatever the case may be, your spiritual field, it literally expands and becomes bigger. And you know, in your, your previous life, whatever you were doing, say your field was this big and now it's expanded to this breath, right? It's very difficult for you now to go back into this. It's impossible. So when people make a certain spiritual practice, a daily routine, they constantly come to this realization that they cannot go back to their previous life without constricting that field. In other words, um, if you are in a habit of going out drink, drinking, if you're in a habit of going out drinking every Saturday and you drink heavily, um, now you've stopped doing that, there's no way you can have that same relationship with your friends or whoever the people that you used to go out with if you don't consciously start drinking as much again to, to go back there and fit in. So uh, a lot of times people kind of let go of their spiritual practice because they're, they're in a space where they haven't found or met people that are vibrating in the same vibration as where they want to go to. So they feel like they're, they're going at this alone and then they revert to going back to their previous ways. I highly, highly recommend and suggest that people that are experiencing this problem do not go back to doing the exact same things that they were doing before their, um, you know, their spiritual practice or personal development practice or you know, meditation practice for that matter uh, started because you want to be in a situation where your field is wider and you're vibrating at a naturally higher frequency uh, so that you attract more of those people towards you and it will happen sooner or later so it's just a matter of writing it out and not going back to doing the same things that you were doing before all of these practices started so you can continue on your personal development path okay so that was a message i want to give to um, my listeners today thank you for watching this um, this channel i know uh, we've grown together over the past couple of years uh, leaps and bounds and you know I keep getting these emails um, continue sending them to me if you have any questions I'll be getting around to making more videos um, and answering them in the future okay thank you very much for watching peace